Well, it was a nice looking weather day out there. We've got a nice picture to prove it, but this is a tough picture for me being the weather guy because, well, Bob, I'm not sure how to pronounce your last name. I'll give it a shot. I'll say Sluga. I don't know if I'm right there or not, but Bobby S. did a good job. Another thing I'm having trouble with here, I can't quite picture exactly where this expanse is. Looks like possibly the Rio Grande Gorge. He just said a nice day in northern New Mexico, and it was. And it uh, turned out to be a picture-perfect weather picture to look at on a day like today. Here's what's going on right now, and this actually started late in the day yesterday. Dry air started pushing in from the west. Now, we're warm out there, but there's a difference between warm and hot, as we well know. So today's been a tolerable day. And while dry air will continue to dominate most of the state, come Sunday, I am expecting a little intrusion of some moist air here for the southeast and east-central parts of the state. I'm not really sold on a lot of rain here, but there could be a pop-up shower or a thunder shower on the east side of this particular dry line. So if you live in the east and southeast, maybe you'll get a cooling shower, but most areas, well, the day's going to pan out like it is in Albuquerque. Starting off 71 degrees, actually will be cooler than that overnight. That'll be the temperature by 8 a.m. 81 midday and a warm 91 late afternoon. And we know exactly what that feels like because that's where we've been so far today. Sunport topping out 91, which is one above average, but the 64 degree reading last night was right on the money. And 91 degrees just so happens to be what's going on right now. 87 up in Santa Fe, 82 in Taos, and look at this. We've got 90s across the board. Last hour was 100 in Carlsbad. You've backed off to 99 now, but you know, just a couple of days ago, we had clouds and widespread rain showers in the area. Well, everybody's now asking what happened, what went on. Well, you could see a couple of days ago, we had the perfect monsoon set up in place, but it didn't stay that way. High pressure that was to the east has gone south. Low pressure that was to the west has gone north, and that's what's drawing in this westerly flow. This is anything but monsoon-like out there, and because there's nothing much more than desert territory to the west of us, that's a dry air flow, and that's why a good chunk of the state will continue to look at the dry weather for a few more days. Now, here's our region-by-region region look at temperatures for you, and you can see that temperatures are still doing okay out there. Uh, despite the fact that we've got all that dry air in place, temperatures are going to be right at about normal this time of the year, so we can certainly handle that. Now, the moisture that's coming in and we'll kind of huddle up here from the Sacramento's and points east. So this is the part of the state where I expect to see the possibility of an afternoon shower or storm. Back to our East Mountain communities, it is going to remain high and dry with loads of sunshine. There'll be plenty of sunshine for your Sunday right here throughout parts of the Rio Grande Valley as well. We'll take you up to Santa Fe and check out how the next seven days are going to fare. Now, I do think a spot shower could pop in on Monday uh, as we bring in a little weak frontal boundary from the north. But if you're really looking for a good chance for showers, which is what all good weather men do, we're going to have to wait until the tail end of the week to come or next weekend because until that time, high pressure dominates. And while temperatures will be warm, it won't be too hot, but most definitely we are staying dry. The monsoon again coming out to be a no-show. All right. Thank you, Jason. Tonight.